A woman is urging people to be more aware of what's growing in their home after becoming very ill, reportedly because of mold. On your side tonight, WATE 6 on your side reporter Kirstie Crawford talked with her and mold removing professionals. She joins us now live here in the studio. So Kirstie, this family did not have the notoriously scary black mold, but she still got sick, right? That's right. The mold in her home was tested and it was actually a very common mold that we breathe in all the time outside. But professionals say you can get sick from that kind of mold if there is a lot of it and your body reacts neg negatively to it. They also say getting sick is one of the signs to know if mold is a problem. They went underneath the house and they found underneath our house that it was growing underneath our entire house. And then they found that there were holes in our ductwork. So it had gotten in the HVAC system and was circulating throughout the house. Megan Bowlington and her family previously lived in their Lenore City home for about 10 years. She says they had some water leaking issues over the years, but nothing big and nothing her husband couldn't fix. In August of 2016, they went on vacation, turning the temperature up on the AC to save money. Shortly after getting back, Bullington fell ill. At first, it was severe panic attacks. Um, it, I haven't had hunger in three years. I don't have any kind of pain. I have weakness. Um, and then com sometimes complete paralysis. After hiring environmental consultants, she learned they had aspergillus mold. Chuck Peterson, operations manager at ServPro, says mold is all around us all the time, but for it to grow and cause issues, it needs only one thing, water. If you're finding a consistent source of water, the that you're going to develop mold growth is pretty high because the spores exist in the air. They just need the right conditions to grow. He says it spreads easily as well, so removal can be very difficult. The areas affected need to be contained, the source needs to be removed, and proper chemicals should be used. Otherwise, the mold could grow back or spores can continue to release toxins. Bullington and Peterson say mold doesn't affect everyone the same, but if you don't visibly see it or smell it, then getting sick is another hint of a problem. The reason I was out there is because they were having uh, respiratory problems and they had had water intrusion that they knew of and they had had high humidity levels. Bullington says her family now has to move to Arizona for treatment. She says she has mold in her sinuses and a staph infection because of it. Her family also got sick, but she says their issues were more like allergies. She had it the worst. Kristen. Mm. Wow, all right, Kirsty, uh, kind of a wake-up call for a lot yeah. of people. ServPro, by the way, saying if you have a water leak, it is very important to get it cleaned and dried within 48 to 72 hours. Otherwise, mold can start growing. Yeah, you know, they also say mold and crawl spaces are common if they don't have proper ventilation, so look for that.